That's a bad. Huh? That's a slab crappie, man. It just doesn't get any better. The smallmouth here in Champlain is phenomenal. Hey guys, it's Sunday night, and welcome to another weekend roundup. I hope you guys are doing great. I mean, the weather has finally cooled down a little bit. I hope you guys are out getting on some fish. Got a really great show lined up tonight. Um, we're going to talk with uh, Tony Gurgley. We're going to introduce him in a few minutes. But before we get started, got a few folks to thank. Got to thank Finn Seeker River Guide Service. Yeah, Tim Keebler. You know, that water is cooling down now. Fishing's going to start heating up. You got to give Tim a call now and book that trip for the, the fall season. 215-262-4811. Give Tim a call, and he'll get you out on those fish. Also, Tony Maja products. You know, we're talking fall uh, stuff. Uh, fish are going to start coming back down the, the coast here. we got those big old stripers going to make their return. Be sure you get out in those big old number four uh, Maja spoons. Get into those big old 50-pounders. Also, the Fisherman Magazine. Yeah, that's right. You know, Jim... Uh, tip, <laughs> Jim Hutchinson gives you the latest, everything this coming weekend, what's happening, what's hap where the fish are. Check them out. Also, the latest edition has a couple of really good articles from uh, Al Story and, uh, and uh, Nick Honachewski on how to get some uh, inshore mahi. Some really good stuff coming up here. So be sure you guys check them out at thefisherman.com. Well, like I said, we have a really good show lined up. Uh, we're going to have Tony Gurgley here. And I'm going to tell you what, any guy that catches so many fish that he's got to get I'll start a live well company to preserve your live well. I want to talk to this guy. So I want to bring in Tony Gurgley here. Let's see if we can get him in. Tony, how you doing, buddy? Doing good, man. Appreciate it. No, thank you for joining us. Um, I, was, I, I was kidding a little bit, but I think it's really true. I know you were a big uh, tournament guy and, you know, always catch a lot of fish. So you yeah, started your company. True, but go ahead. <laughs> well, we'll make it sound true. You catch fish. Okay. So what, what made you start the company to begin with? I mean, that's really interesting. Well, this is actually interesting. What happened was when I was a teenager, I grew up on the St. John's River in Florida. Okay. And uh, I always wanted to be a doctor. Actually, I wanted to be a surgeon. So I studied uh, a lot of science, took Latin of all things in, in high school and so forth. But my dad and I fished a lot of bass tournaments. And I actually was buying from Johnny Morris from Bass Pro Shop. So I was subscribed to Bass Masters Magazine. And I was reading everything that Doug Hannon could possibly write back then. I was a teenager. Okay. And it frustrated the heck out of me living near the land, or actually the land, Deltona, Florida, on the St. John's River, having all these turners. And we couldn't keep the fish alive. And here I was trying to do, and I had aquariums all my life. It's kind of how it started. And it just frustrated me. We always lost our fish. And that was those were 10 fish limits back then, too, by the way. Anyway, wow. that being said, then I went off to college, not thinking about anything like what we're fixing to talk about now. I was dead set to be an oral surgeon. That was my quest. That's why I took microbiology. I loved organic chemistry. I still kept aquariums. I wanted to gain uh, uh, Bass Masters of the Gator Country. I had a 10-speed bicycle. I didn't even own a car. The Florida Gators. Anyway, believe it or not, I went and joined this club, and then who shows up? This guy I'd never heard of before. We became instant friends. He had a car. I didn't. He's a little bit older than mine, not too much. He used to take me to clubbing's back. Guess what? Shaw Grigsby. Oh, really? How did that happen? So he and I fished together a lot in tournaments. Went to, he took me to clubs and things. We became instant friends. We're still friends to this day, by the way. I graduated. I did not become a doctor. He became a professional fisherman. I started working with a company that was making, um, uh, after college, believe it or not, making formulations for keeping tropical fish alive, of all okay. things. Guppies, goldfish, things like this. You know, Sanford, Florida. They were relocating to near San Antonio, where I'm at right now. And, and I developed over 45 products. So it was about 45, 46, for keeping tropical fish alive. Guppies, goldfish, saltwater fish, puffer, you know, clownfish, whatever. Right. Koi and ponds. Didn't know where I was getting, where my life, where God was leading me, by the way. God was leading me in this direction. I was going to be a doctor. I'm a fish. I want to keep fish alive. It's like that in a nutshell. And meeting the key people along. And yet all of a sudden, because this man, of this, I just, he's, he's my idol, Doug Hannon. As a matter of fact, I can move a little bit. I can move a picture back here but you probably can't see very well and move a little bit i put it back just intentionally that's a 16 pound bass it, doug, there's doug right here and there's a signed photo he's oh, nice. in my office by the way i just put those back there because these are two of my favorites all this stuff is signed nobody else has got them 
and that's Doug, and that's a bass. One of my best oh, friends. That is awesome. Best friend I've had in my life, Doug Hanna. Thirty years that is of awesome. friendship. So when when I what happened was, I called up Doug, and I got invited down to Tarpon Springs on, on Keystone Lake, and I said, Doug, I'm frustrated. I don't know how to keep these fish alive and keep guppies alive. I can't keep bass alive. And Doug had a very nasal voice, if you knew him. Longest running fishing show on ESPN. He said, Tony, what you need to do is this. We need to tranquilize them. We need to calm them down. These are wild wild animals. It's like putting a white-tailed deer in the back of a, a, a trailer and trying to keep them alive. It's not going to happen. Right. So what happened was then using all the uh, chemistry that I had learned and everything else, you know, parasitology, you know, uh, uh, immunology and all this and reading books and books and books like that. such a huge library, which I love, by the way, I, I just, I'm a studier and a researcher and all of it finally just panned out. Like we put everything together in the early eighties, like 83 to 85, 86 and that years, like different formulations with Doug's advice. That was a critical part. It's like, calm them down. You got to calm them down. And so that's what happened then. So I developed the first, well, we can it, right? <laughs> the there it first catch and release formula. This is my logo. This is registered to my company. Okay. This, I own this. I have, and I'm so proud of it. There's a reason. You know, this is orange and blue. I'm a Florida Gator. That's why, and so is Grog's, uh, Charles Grisby. He lives in Gainesville, Florida. I'm sure y'all all know that. This thing here, we did so much so quick in just a few years. And I've got my company which is now coming up on, well, well over 30 something years now, obviously. Yeah. It's got the, the only one that has been, I'm looking down right now because I'm looking at this documentation. It's the only one that's ever been independently tested. Okay. There's some liquids out there, some little blue liquids that you're swindling by. I'm telling you about that. There's another one out there that's got garlic in it, all this stuff. None of this stuff's been independently tested. I mean, you've got this like this being shows. Ray Scott on a line, life and death. This right here, I I can sh send these out to you or whatever, and I hope you can. This is a long time. This is in the 1980s because what happened was Ray Scott actually commissioned this to where we actually did this study, which is Xerox and trying to move it right uh, to the left. Uh, population pass catch and release program. This is something we did in 1986. Doug Hannon, myself, Ray Scott said, let's do it. And I can tell you, it's, it's a long, detailed story about this. But we proved that our release system worked. And you go on, this is interesting because this is done by a, a, a these are independent. Nobody even asked them to do this stuff. Right. This is Dr. Grizzle from Auburn, Alabama, Auburn University. Now, I know this looks old, but it doesn't really matter. You still Google it if I can get it up there, right? Um, uh, let's see here. All right, I'll put it there just shortly. Yep, I'll, I'll just it. read it to you. Survival of cotton released largemouth bass after containment of live wolves. Dr. Grizzle and Dr. Rogers. These are amazing because Sure Life Laboratories, which I'm really proud of, by the way, that yeah, I, I created my own and everything. I'm the only company out there that does, that has these these type of inner things, independent studies. Nobody else is out there. They're trying to imitate me. They, they make a blue liquid dye, whatever, liquid that takes ammonia out of water. I go up to the ICAST show. It can't answer any questions. You know why? Because they're all made in China. Okay. Everything that's made here is made in the United States of America. Right now, I think that should be very important to people. All the raw materials in there, American. All the employees, American. And all the ingenuity and research, American. That's from awesome. the 1980s. Awesome. Seriously. And so, I mean, there's so much information. I can't even cram this in 25 minutes. And I'm so proud of it because of this is that um, I'm so passionate about Because, like I told you, when I was losing fish when I was a kid, a teenager with my dad, my dad came back to the boat. So I was back in a boat with no, with no uh, uh, license. I mean, a driver's license, that is. And then running the trolling motor because he didn't know how to do that either. Unfortunately, my dad was very old when he had me, but we had a great life in Florida. And he taught me how to fish. And everything now ended up where I'm at. So what happened after that was with with Doug Hannon, who is a pure genius, who happened to be my best friend from 1983 of April when I first pulled into Tarpon Springs and calling him on Lake Keystone. He owned a blue Porsche. Mm -hmm. All right, a little center block house. 
I'm, I'm, you wouldn't believe it's called a, it's called a cracker house, believe it or not. That's what they called it. I'm just being honest. And it's a really cool for the crack. It's really cool. And he had a, he had a big aquarium in the back built in the ground with big baths. Went on his dock and he actually hand fed fish with shiners. They knew him. It was the most amazing. It's the first time I met him, by the way. Okay. We became instant friends. And then he owned a blue Porsche and I owned a blue MG. It was like he and I were on equal terms. And he was married to a Rhodes Scholar, if you know what that is. Okay. He's going hand those out very often. So there's two geniuses married to each other. So Doug, with his nasal voice from, you know, he's born in Canada, he goes, Tony said, you know what we need to do is we need to, you know, add a tranquilizer to the formula to keep them alive. Thank you, Doug. Didn't really realize that one. And from there, if you have no idea, if you take this bottle right here, and also the other formulation I got is please release me. I'm trying to figure this thing out right please release me that's how fine. complicated these things are every one of these is 100 percent active you know there's some people out there try to imitate this i get a lot of passion for this because i've been doing this a long time it irritated me when i was a kid i could keep these fish alive now we've got some companies out there oh we're going to compete against sure life labs you know we're going to make make a liquid well this is not a liquid all right i'm not making something because you already got water in the live well Right. It's like, you know, if you want to buy a product that's blue, the only reason it's blue because it's going to imitate what my product looks like. Right. And I know you talked to them at the iCast show, which I've done. They've actually chased me out of the booth. Because <laughs> I go up and ask them, I said, I actually say, what is your tranquilizer? Because they said it comes to fish. And they said, what are you talking about? I said, well, what do you, who are you? And I said, my name tag is right there. I don't, I mean, I don't. You know, I take my name tag. I don't hide it. I know who I am. And I said, what is your tranquilizer? They don't have a quit. They don't have an answer for that. They're being swindled. They're being right. seriously swindled. It, and um, it amazes me. And we have so much like, documentation, research, Doug Hannon, all people. Some young people don't even know who Doug Hannon is. And that concerns me. Because Doug and I were best friends until he passed away. And April of 2013. That's 30 years. I won't right. wonder if it was to the date, by the way. But I'm going to show you something real quick, if you don't mind. I just made a little thing here. This is, you know, the catch and release. I'm just going to take a little vessel and try to figure this thing out. When I dump this in, you'll see what it looks like. Well, all right. All right. Don't need, okay, that's, that's catch and release. All right, that's out of this bottle. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm not really good at this thing. But anyway, that's 100% active ingredients. And there's a reason everything's in there. This thing here takes ammonia out of water. Now, there's a product out there that's liquid. It takes ammonia out of water. And guess what? That's all it does. Okay. And you know what else? It was invented by a guy named Dr. Coons. Dr. Coons was in the tropical fish industry. It was invented in 1986 in Kansas City, Missouri. Could have been Kansas, but one of those two states. Anyway, Kansas. I know that for he's in the tropical fish industry. It doesn't just take ammonia remover to keep bass alive. That was what was frustrating for me when I was a kid. Right. So you now you've got a guy for, that sold this formulation to three different companies, by the way. This liquid blue dye formula that's been sold three times, by the way, actually marketed three times. People are buying into it. They're being swindled, whatever you want to call it. I don't give a slip dog on how worth the work. It bothers me. Because I put a lot of time and interest. You don't meet Doug Hannon by chance and get the opportunity to develop what I'm showing you right here. This is 100 percent active. Why buy water and add to your live well? You already got plenty of lot of water in sure. your live well. So this is this. So this thing only takes ammonia out. That's so damn, excuse me. That's so doggone easy, it's ridiculous. And on top of that, there are so many things more than it does. It fights fungus. It fights bacteria. It stimulates the slime coats. It takes out the heavy metals in case you're up on the cold. In Florida, like in the Harris can, you got orange groves. And they're spraying copper to make the fertilizers to, to propagate the orange trees. It concentrates in your live walls. I've got chelating agents in the products. My formulations that take care of all that. Add the electrolytes back to it. I mean, it goes on and on and on. All the things that we take care of. It's not just the pneumonia remover. And right. also, is this thing also is compatible with all 
oxygenating uh, 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 mechanisms. And that's one thing that really bothers me. When people go out there and say, well, your product doesn't work because they've been told. Not that they proved it, but because they've been told that you can't use my products with certain oxygenating devices, which is the total lie because when night, night, when I was at the ICAT show in Vegas, and I'm giving it 1907, 1908, they were back to back to me. The original ones that invented the oxygenator. And so what they did was they came to me and said, would you mind, let me check these products out, the vice president, to see if these things work with our product. Other, would you private label for, for us? I guess, sure. I'm an up and up guy. I don't care. I know my products. Well, guess what? They checked it. It worked. They wanted me to private label it. So the only thing is, their product doesn't work in salt water. It'll kill the heck out of salt water fish because it turns it into chlorine. But they sent me a letter. It's like, would you do this? We, I, or, or do you want, we want to do this? Well, then they found this guy, Dr. Coons, who will make the ammonia remover a lot cheaper. So that's the direction they went. So where we got out now is we got a blue liquid dye that takes the ammonia out with FDA, the FDNC uh, food grade dye three times over in the uh, um, um, name situation. And that's all it does. But if you look at this thing right here, which I keep moving around, I guess, in the wrong direction, this thing does so many incredible things. It's um, it's in my patent too, which I also have a patent. Now, if you take this, that's the one that when you have fish that are really healthy, just use catch and release. If I get this up there, just gotcha. use this one. All right, that's cool. Now, that's one of the originals. But then again, I also discovered the fact that when fish get hooked, like Paul Elias when he's fishing that bass tournament on Falcon Lake. 2009 or what he, he like over 100 pounds or whatever and i know paul since the 1980s i've known all these guys were so doggone long it's incredible and uh he remember what i told him i said if you gill rake a fish or your tongue if you tongue thing a fish use this product please release me there's a distinction they're pretty they're real similar in nature however once i pour this in this bottle you'll see right here the color uh, and this is not any, where, where's it at? Well, I'm trying to get it. There, it there is. you go. Light green. I'm sorry about that. Um, light green. Well, this, this thing removes ammonia. It does kill fungus and bacteria. Electrolyte stimulates the slime coat, you know, takes out heavy metals, pesticides, all this other good stuff. Then you got the catch and release. I'll, and I'll pour this in this to this thing so you can see the different level and you can see the difference in the color. Let's see if this works. There you go. All right. There, the one is, well, I think it covered it up. One is very, very dark. And that's this one here. And there's a reason for this. This one is chock full of antibiotics and antibacterial products and anti-coagulating products. So if you've got a wounded fish with gill rate and tongue hooked or whatever, Paul Lice talked to me when he won that tournament, $100,000. And he remembered, because I've known, the, I mean, it's Paul Lice since the 1980s, Neil and Real. That's how long I know these people. A lot of them. Johnny Morrison, all of them. Anyway, what happened was this. He was over to the Big Tigers, if you know where that's at. I know what Humpy was on. It's gorgeous lake, beautiful lake. And he was kneeling and reeling, and he had uh, crankbaits and jelly worms because he's sponsored by Mance. Anyway, he went out there and he gill raked one, and what happened was he actually stuck a fish, which was his kicker fish. And he remembered, because Doug, I mean, excuse me, well, obviously Doug Henderson never had to pay for any products from me. I keep mentioning Doug, nor Shaw Grigsby, nor a lot of other people out there. That I know very well. And Paul Weiss is one of them. And I, I, I have his address. I ship product to him. I'm not gonna ship product to everybody in the United States, but these people are very important because I've known him for 35 years. Now. Sure. Anyway, sure. That being said, Paul remembered that day because he stuck a fish, which was his kicker fish, and he was bleeding like crazy. And they were filming him because he was winning. However, if he lost that fish, he was gonna come in second. It was a hundred thousand dollars. So he remembered he was using the catch release like i told him to do however being on film with khaki pants and all that and it's also on you know, one of the espn videos at 18 minutes in after his video his uh interview or whatever he goes 
what happened was this. He said, I thought for sure that fish was going to die. But then it dawned on me, and he had hit it in the head. Tony told me to sprinkle, it actually impact it. You just take your finger and just impact it in the wound and then put it in the live well. And he, he said a prayer. I said my prayers too, by the way, because I've been researching this stuff. Trust me. I mean, long before he ever took that prayer, knowing that I'm selling this to the public and I'm going to sell something to the public that works. Right. I'm not going to be a swister or a swindler or what do you want to call it? That's my cup of tea. And I've got the material I just printed to you that I showed you we have. The other yeah. companies don't have this. None of them have it. Not one. And plus, I'm an FDA regulated laboratory. They're not. Not okay. one out there. I'm the only one. And that's what gets me is the marketing. It's because the, 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 the fishermen get that. They don't, they don't get that. They don't understand all that. But I'll tell you what happened with, with Paul was this. He realized what had happened, and it was bleeding so bad, it went all over his khaki pants. So they had to stop filming for him to, to actually change his pants for television. He told me it's to his face on, on Fort, uh, Lake uh, uh, Fort because it was like two weeks later after the tournament. And it, 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 that, that bass tournament lost a lot of fish, a mm. lot of fish. And they actually asked to bring a back old land to get rid of the decade. I mean, the no kidding. No the kidding. Was, people in the pot were pissed. That's a small town on the Rio Grande. And that's a bad, that's a bad cool lake. Almost messed up. That's that's a really cool lake, and I've fished it many times. It's huge, and so two weeks later we had a, a bass camps tournament, two hundred fifty, three hundred fifty boats. I don't know a lot of boats. Anyway, so what happened was Paul remembered to put it on there, and he put that fish in that live well, and he was praying because I know that fish is going to die, and he goes, "Wow." After about 20 minutes, he couldn't he couldn't wait to go back and look because it was not looking good. He went back and looked at it. It was right side up. It was right side up. And it was calm. It was like days and confused from the movie we all know. Right. Because it was calmed down and he had taken it and impacted it in the wounds. It stopped the coag it stopped the, the bleeding. Right. Well, you wanted to be a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm glad I'm not a doctor. <laughs> You have no idea because this is so passionate to me. You, yeah. I mean, I don't think anybody really lies. I understand so much. Well, the, some people do. Some people, the people that don't know me, don't understand. Is they take everything else, you know, it's like, no, that's not true. That's not true. Well, been doing this a long time and been proving. Paul won a hundred thousand dollars that day. That's if awesome. Yeah, not won it by that one fish. He would have came in second. And I give this stuff to him for free. I'm not going to give everybody for free, but I give this stuff to him for free because he's one of my friends I've known a long time, okay? That being said, once again, advancing, there was just, I've got a lot of YouTube videos out there, and unfortunately- I've seen I'm, some of them, yeah. Well, all right. I'm become an emotional guy, and that's just the way I'm a scientist. Scientists like art, and, and plus they're emotional people, and that's when I'm a Leo too. So when I got divorced, I should have done it, but I took some videos off my website. I'm fixing to put them back up. Because unfortunately, these videos were inside. They involved my ex-wife, one of my ex-wives. Sorry about that. If there's any single ladies out there, I'm single again. But <laughs> I'm sound. But anyway, if you went, if I can put this up there, right? If you looked at this, how do I put this? Shit? And just look at it. Uh, shoot, it's probably not going to work real well. Maybe you can help me out later. Here's yeah, Doug we'll, Hannon. We'll put a link down to some of them for you. Okay, well, these are videos. They're not very long. Well, actually, the, the longest one is like nine minutes long. Or, you know, nine. But this one here actually tells you how exactly to keep fish alive. And that's not worth it. it we did this on Lake Amistad. I stayed at uh, Byron Velvick's house, by the way. And Doug Hannon did and so forth. It was awesome. With the video crew, the, 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 the weather was cool. Are not cool. It's actually uh, April. They were spawning, and mm. all these fish. And we showed him exactly what I what I want to tell you real quick. Hopefully, I can tell you this real quick. There's there's a few things that you need in your live well. I, we've gone through the history of this now. I think pretty well. And this is it. All right. The first formulation I came out with, which I keep through it, put is catch release. Right. And I was like I said when I was a kid, I couldn't keep these fish alive. This is a product of Doug telling me 
tranquilize the fish. And this thing calms them down. Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, Tackle Warehouse. Most of the mom and pop made stores in America have got it. You may think it's a little pricey, but you got to understand, I'm an FDA regulated laboratory. These things has got a lot of different chemicals in it that are formulated for a specific reason. My entire factory uses 150 different chemicals. Wow. I make over 55 products. Because I just don't make them for bass. I make them for bait fish, saltwater fish, shrimp, croakers, walleye, all these things. But bass is my passion because I grew up on the St. John's River. Sure. This right here is for, like I said, the fish are wounded. Use this one. Definitely keep this in your boat. Most people probably don't know about it. It's a liquid product. This is foam off. You got foam on the surface of your water, guess what? That's where 90% of your oxygen transfer occurs at. It's on the surface of the water. I don't care if you got one of these oxygenator things in it or not. Put a, what you ought to do is put it, if you got somebody with an oxygenator, try that. Put in 15 gallons of water about 20 pounds of fish in there. Um, if you have an aquarium at your house, and I know a lot about this because I work for the aquarium company and I've been at over 50 something prior, 45 to 50 products for them. You can keep in one gallon, 10 gallons of water, and you can, as a hobbyist, which I've been a hobbyist since I was a kid, one inch of fish per one gallon of water. Think about that. One little guppy. Right. Up, and change the water one time a week, 10%. You're good. You know, you got some goldfish in there. You got a koi pond or whatever. I've been products from. You're trying to put 15, 20, 30 pounds of fish in a live well. In a live well, right. And then you've got a bait store that's got a 100-gallon tank. You go in there, if you look at these bait tanks, they got 15 to 25 pounds of fish in 100 gallons of water. Right. That's why one of my biggest products is called Better Bait, because I figured out how to figure out how to keep fish alive in, in large biomass quantities. This is the same thing in a live well. You, I don't think people understand exactly how many products that I've invented, not that I'm bragging, but I'm just trying to say I put a lot of time into this. Sure. Research and passion. And I really, I mean, not that I believe in it, I can prove it just by the fact that I use it. But FOMOS is one of them. And then I'm just trying to show you the, the things that you need, believe it or not. This thing here, which I hope I get this one up right, this is hydrogen peroxide. This is like 99 cents at Walgreens, CVS. Or, this is a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. Do you know what this stuff does? This is like rocket fuel. You put this thing in a live well at four ounces, which is the half a cup, by the way. You really don't have to measure it. You know what half a cup is. You take yourself a measuring cup out so you know what it looks like. But as long as you know what your gallon it is and your live well, which is easy to do, by the way, Put four ounces per 15 gallons of water. And the way you measure live well is you take the width, you know, the depth, or the height, and measure by feet. So if you've got 18 inches, that's 1.5. Obviously, you know, if it's, you know, it's, uh, it convert everything to, to feet and multiply it times 0.75. And it gives you gallons. And believe it or not, on the back side of every bottle, if you look, I already tell you this little details. You may have to remember that. It's on every bottle I make. And so, like our label I make, so you know how so you know how many gallons you have to treat. You sure. put four ounces of this in there. If your if your if your batteries go out, this is like your backup insurance plan because this thing puts nine hundred parts per million of oxygen water. Not that much. What it is, it's an equilibrium. Because as the fish breathes. It takes out an oxygen molecule. Well, this is H2O2. People say, well, it's going to burn the gills. you got to be kidding me. This is 3% diluted in the 15 gallons of water. Right. Look at the YouTube video Doug Hannon did, which I was putting up a while ago. When he, just, he explains it so easy. It's like a sponge that sucks it out. We discovered this back in the 1980s. Current biologists, they keep fighting us about this. It's going to burn the gills. No, it doesn't. You know what burns the gills? There's a chemical out there right now in the green bottle. You know what they got in it? Garlic. You know why they got it kept garlic in it? Because they can't compete against me. So they put a color in there and they garlic in it. They advertise it. Hey, look how lively the fish are. 
Well, heck yeah, I'd be lively too. So I put garlic up my nose. <laughs> They're jumping around like crazy. And if you look at their gills, no, I'm serious. I've looked at a lot of them. They turn their gills as white as this bottle. These fish will never breathe again. No, you and you want to, like you said, you want to calm them down too, right? You That's one of the key swindled things. Swindled again. Every dog on product that comes against us can't do it because they don't have, I don't know what they don't have. They don't have. I don't, they're just trying to get money from you. That's just what I, how I feel about it. I yeah. care about the fish. I am serious about this. And so we got this going on. And then on top of that, this is so easy. It's ridiculous. I mean, this, let me move this thing over here. All right. This oh, is like, well, this is a thermometer. You see if I can turn it right. All right. Now, yeah, it looks like my Sure Life logo, which, well, see, right. I came up with that logo. It's orange and blue. The Florida Gators. That's where I went to school. But I found this at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's up there in the garden section. You just push on and off. And look at that. It's a digital. You know how long this thing lasts? You float it in 78.3 degrees in this, in this building right now. You float this in the two. And I get two of them because there's two separate lives on my Trident. I carry 50 to 60 pounds of ice in my life. Now, mm. Most people think, and biologists say, you're crazy. They've been saying that for years. But I've been doing this since the 80s. You need to try it yourself. Do it on a non-tournament day. The day that you know if I lose my fish. Because I want you to prove it to yourself that this works. What you do is this. You go out there and with my son. When we're fishing bass jams or whatever tournaments we're fishing. I usually run a trolling motor. But I give him the trolling motor for the first 30 seconds or 40. It doesn't take you long once you figure out the process. I carry 50, 60 pounds of ice, sometimes less, but usually at least 60 when it's warm outside. I'm sure it sounds like a lot of weight, but you got to give up something if you want to keep your fish alive. Right. Make sure you've got these products here in your boat. Make sure you got this. You, you don't always need it, but when the foam shows up, you're definitely going to want it to get rid of that foam because that in interferes with the, with the uh, oxygen transfer, which I need to go back to that once more, by the way. 90% of oxygen transfer in water occurs at, not at the surface of the water. It's right. not because these little devices in the bottom of your boat that the boat manufacturer is costing the normal guy or woman or whatever an extra 500 bucks or whatever. It amazes me that the boat companies never even check to see if they put out the parts for me and that they need to use. Because all you got to do is go to Walgreens or whatever, CVS, and get one of these for 99 cents. And this thing lasts a long, long, long time. Sure. That bothers me because I like truth. I'm a, I mean, I'm a Christian and I speak the truth. I don't lie. And that's the truth. Put a thermometer in there. And then on top of that, with this right here, what I do with is this. If I go into where I'm fishing, let's say the water temperature is 75 degrees. The biologists will disagree with me. And I they, whatever they read books they read a lot of books they went to school just to learn i went to school to become a doctor i didn't read books on keeping fish alive i loved organic chemistry my favorite my favorite subject of all time immunology parasitology you name it use mic you know mic uh, microscopes and everything i mean you know, it's like electron microscopes i just loved it i still remember my professor's names at the university of florida lashaw grigsby doug hannon ray scott that's why these studies are reading. I mean, Ray Scott, his name is all this. I mean, if you just right here, just right, right here, Ray Scott. There you go. And yeah, this is really cool stuff. This is old, but it's the truth. That's yeah. how long it's been around. And the younger generation doesn't know this stuff exists. I don't know why. I, it's because it's not my website, which it needs to be up there, by the way. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to them. That being said, I'll drop the temperature from 75 down to 62, 60. That's 15 degrees. State biologists and all these guys, and other people say, you're going to kill the fish you're going to shock them. I mean, I'm, I'm in four feet of water. I like the shallow water fish because I'm from Florida. I live in Texas now. I still do the same thing when out there fishing and catching fish in 15 feet of water. Right. It drives, if the temperature is there, I drop the, and you put them in there and you take Either one of these, because they both have tranquilizers, and their catch release, and you know, please release me, and so I'm going to get this right. These things that got tranquilizers in, they calm them down. So right. when we do it, and then you put the hydrogen peroxide in there, 
it's not that if you really want to win the tournament and not lose a fish, and this has happened to us by the four, by the way, really close. My son and I won twenty thousand dollars on bass jams on Lake Travis, and his name's Travis, by the way. That being said, which is very coincidental, Godson, that's the way I look at it, is that if you use this in combination, you'll see a difference. You gotta try it. Because one of the things you'll see how green they are. Was their natural color. You right. see how slimy they are. The slime to a fish is like skin is to a human. That's their right. antibacterial static property. If you cut a fish, that's where they get infected. If you cut yourself, that's where you get infected. Right. They lose their lime skin, skin. That's when. If you put garlic in water with this product that I mentioned earlier, what that's what it does. It, it stresses them. They quit producing slime. They have slime cells that produce this, this slime. That's why you have to have the slime. And just move it from ammonia on the motor water, that's and with an FDC and dye. No, the reason these things are colored like they are colored, this coloration right here, that is not an FDC and blue dye, that is a medicinal dye that paramedics use in case you try to kill yourself in a garage with carbon monoxide poisoning because the hemoglobin now has got carbon monoxide on it. This will knock it back off, so hemoglobin starts carrying oxygen. Well, guess okay. what? In a live well, a fish will pick up nitrite. And nitrites and things like that. This thing knocks it back. Also, this fish breathe uh, oxygen. It's that's why it's one hundred percent active. Everything in it. You're not buying a liquid product for two ninety nine and say you're saving money. Sure. Sure. My products are a little bit more expensive, but they're fully active, and they're backed up with scientific background. And that's one of them. I mean, I'm so proud of that. I, I mean, I'm so happy that you allowed me to get my voice out. No, it's great. A lot of times I haven't been able to do that. And I've gone into their booths and I asked them, I go, what is it in your product that, that tranquilizes the fish? They don't have an answer. They actually throw me out. And guess what? <laughs> I just found out recently during this coronavirus thing, if you noticed, the only products on the shelf right now, whether it be Tackle Warehouse, Bass Pro Shops, and blah, 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 and all these other bait and mama pop bait stores, we are in there. Sure Life Labs, is, you know why? Because our products are totally made in the United States of America. Every raw material that you see here, this bottle, this cap, made in New Jersey. Labels, okay. ma made in Texas. Chemicals from all over the place, United States. In, in, on top of that, the uh, um, employees, United States. We have been running like crazy because people are fishing like crazy. You know what? Yeah. They're out. They are. Stuff is made in China. And that was their decision, not mine. That's there has to, be, uh, has to be thousands of people that fish tournaments that really owe – you know, placing somewhere in that, that tournament because of you. I mean, you've been keeping their fish alive. Uh, but there's nothing worse than coming up to the, to the scales and have one of them belly up on you. That's for sure. Back in 2011, my son and I were fishing a bass champs tournament, okay? And this was on Lake Travis near Austin, Texas. Now, I'm not a deep water fisherman because I grew up on the St. John's River in Florida. Harris Chain, all those lakes like that. And I'm not so, I mean, I fish and I love it. And I've had great days on Lake Falcon, OH Ivy, uh, Amistad. I mean, I even uh, uh, Lake Shasta. I mean, I've been all over the country, don't get me wrong. But I just grew up, you know, shallow water fishing. That's all I fish. Well, back in 2011, my son and I, Travis, I named him. He's born in Texas, by the way. I'm from Florida. And I found this school of fish. And they were in a point. That day, we caught like 75 fish. And uh, we kept calling and calling. And I sent my, my son caught three of the best fish out of the five fish on it, by the way. And it was hot. It was in May, May the 7th, by the way, 2011. And it came up, and we had bought some Subway sandwich. We're not power fishermen like some people are. I mean, we take breaks. Other people are at constant, constant, constant fish. We're not after the money. We're out there just having a good time. And we're sitting in a boat drinking Dr. Peppers. I was drinking Fiji water. He's drinking Dr. Pepper anyway. He, uh, he had, we had these two Subway sandwiches floating down the the, there's two rivers that feed into the uh, Lake Travis. We're at one. I'm not going to say which one it was. But anyway, as we're going down this river, you know, we took a little break off those fish and let them settle down. We kept catching the same size fish over and over. We had about 16-something pounds at that time. And Travis goes to me and said, Dad, you think we're going to win today? And I go, no, nah, Travis, we'll play some money. I said, it's probably going to take like 21 pounds to win the, win the tournament. Sure. This was so cool. To, you know, what he said to me. And I'm twice his age, by the way. I wasn't planning on being a father, but it's the best gift God ever gave me because I got my son, Travis. And there's a reason now that happened. But anyway, because while she, my ex-wife got off the pill, it didn't tell me. <laughs> and that was cool. 
<laughs> and I named him Travis after Colonel Travis. And he caught his, he, he shot his first deer with me, caught his awesome. first ass with me, and everything like that. But this is what he said to me. He said, Dad, I don't care if we win or lose today. This is one of the been of the best days I've ever had with you in my life. And your grandkids are going to hear about this. Now that is worth more than any money in the world for anybody to hear. As far no as doubt. I'm concerned, because I'm a Christian. And no I doubt. when I got a heart. Well, we go back to that point and we're catching the same one, two pound fish. We got four and a half pound fish in there. We're up to 16 pounds for five fish. All right. Well, that works. All right. I've still got this one confused. So I'd sit, another bass boat pulled up and we were catching so many fish. And so let's get out of here. There's no sense of showing them these fish are here. Not to be mean, but we just weren't catching any, any bigger. So we moved down the, the, the side of the lake or the river and it turned into 16 feet of water. And I changed the lure. Okay, we were, we're we were fishing um 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 oh um Gary Yamamoto's um worms at that time and uh and I switched to something I can't remember the name of it, but I remember that I know what it is, but I just don't remember the name, it didn't really matter. I switched over that and so all day long my dad my son was going dad he was going, Dad, get the net. And he's fishing the back of the boat. And he says, get the net, get the net. Well, and what happened was this. I finally, when I felt it, I was in 16 feet of water, my trolling boat, we're cast toward the bank. And I felt this fish. And when I stuck it, and I said, Travis, get the net. When we got the net, it was a 5.33 pound bass. Wow. So we switched out a two pounder for a 5.33. And at this time, we were supposed to be in at 2.30. It was already at one thirty. We were hot. You know, it's like, we it were pretty much done. It's not like we're after money or anything. Like We just have a good time together. So we went, we're the first ones to weigh in. We weighed in with 19.59 pounds, 19.59. Wow. All five fish are alive. Their gills are, that's the other thing too I want to talk about is their, if you look at their gills, if you use our products, their gills are really red, like bright red. That's the hemoglobin. That's the blood. That is when you use what I just said, the ice, the hydrogen peroxide, you know, deplete, the catch release, and then, you know, using a the thermometer and keeping the aerator on all day long. Don't stop it. Don't pump in new water. Do all this other stuff. You'll see how bright the red your green gills are. If you lose, use these other products like that one that's in the green bottle, you'll right. see it turns your gills white. They're never going to breathe again. I already, I've done this Lake Amistad so many times. It's ridiculous. And yeah. Joe Canyon and all these other places that you turn them and so forth. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all five fish were, were fine. Well, awesome. We ate them in, and we were the first one. And it was like 175 boats, if I remember that day. We ended up winning that tournament. Now, you were talking about losing fish because of, re, you know, losing weight because of regurgitation early, early. Guess what? We won that tournament. We came in first and won $20,000. Wow. With my son, you have no idea how excited he was. You have to also have to take a lie detector test. You have to flick a flip of corn. Well, I won and he lost, so he had to take the lie detector test. But obviously, we didn't. We didn't work cheating. But anyway, so anyway, going with that motion, the person that the, 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 the two guys were, I think it was whatever team it was, came in second. We beat them by, if I can do this right, five grams. No kidding. You know how much five grams is? Five That's, grams is a teaspoon of salt. It's yeah, pretty much. Sugar. It's also five milliliters, which is a teaspoon. There's, right. 20, there's 20 drops in a milliliter. So there's 100 drops of water. If one of those fish had, had coughed up one of those shad that we were, they were feeding on, it would have been the difference between twenty thousand and three thousand dollars. Right. So to go to Bass Pro Shops or Tackle Warehouse or your mom and pop bait stores, and use what I just discussed, which it will be up on my website. I took it back down. The reason I did was there's a person here in this little thing right here that includes my ex-wife, and I I took her off of there, but it doesn't really matter more because nobody who cares if I'm married or not married. The information is is authentic and it's true sure. it's professionally done so i'm putting that back up so we can get this information now it's it's i've done this for so long and i'm so passionate about it it is and you're doing and a I great really job want, i really want people to understand I, it's not just what else we do I mean, we make all these other products we're keeping bait line if most people go to a bait shop i don't think they ever notice or not they look at those bait tanks with minnows in them with shiners there's blue tanks and there's green tanks some are yellow actually all these fish react differently in captivity. There's, there's fatted minnows, there, there's shiners. You know, some people have crawfish, croakers on the on the coast. They have mullet, they have shrimp. Right. That's why I've got so many different formulations. I mean, this is That's my great. favorite because I bass fish when I was a kid. But this is my entire company is in, in 
proudly made in the United States, and we are, I'm not bragging, but I know we are. I mean, we've, I've done this too long with too much passion and thinking. And well, being with people like Doug Hannon, Shaw Grigsby, Ray Scott, all these people that I've known and met in my life, and God has given me this privilege of meeting them, and they give me guidance. And you've done, you've done a really good job. It's not for me job. to make money or anything like that, because I'm nowhere near a wealthy man, but I'm going to say I'm not bad off, you know? I'm just like, I'm not privileged. Well, it's gotten no, you pretty I, good. I want to be a doctor. I mean, seriously, I'm not a doctor. Yeah. But I ended up doing this, and there's like, if you look at like this right here, I mean, this is pretty old. I mean, actually, this, I've got this all over my wall. This is Doug Hand, and if I can move it right, that's yep, a, I see it. Yeah, old boat. It says catch release on. This is from the 1980s, and if you look at it, and it says something about two Tony. Thank you for saving so many fish. That's Doug Hand. I've got this. I got five of these on the wall. It just shows a couple today. And that's this fantastic. one back here has got a 16 pound bass on it. If I can just move it without messing everything up, his wife. He actually invented or developed that lens. So that he could take that picture in the water, his wife Lynn took that fish. That's a 16 pound bass. Beautiful. The old boat right there that Johnny Morris and Ray Scott caught their first 10 pound bass out of in the 1970s. Uh, uh, and I was reading his mat, his books, and his reading all his articles. That's and here awesome. I am today talking to you, <laughs> George, in New York. No, Pennsylvania. <laughs> But so, Tony, I really appreciate everything. We are getting way over on time, but um, I'm sorry. I'm for sorry. no, you're you're good. It was a great story. We love hearing it. Uh, what's your website so folks can get a hold of you? It's really easy. It's uh, www.com. I mean, I mean, it's sure. sure. This is www.sure. S U R E dash wife l i f e dot com. It's the name of my company. Okay. You gotta make sure you put the the hyphen between the sure and the life. And I'm gonna tell you something right now. And I hope this doesn't offend anybody out there, but I'm not taking it off because it's 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 my formulations, it's my products. And if you choose to buy them, you choose to buy them. If you don't want to buy them, you don't have to buy them. And you can research all the information I just gave you. And I know we're going over a little bit over time, and hopefully this shows up. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. Uh, how come it's not showing up? this? All right, look, here we go. I'm a firm believer in this. I don't know if you can read this or not. If you back it up just a tiny bit, there you go. All right. I choose to put this on. If you still have that Sure Life logo. Yes. That right there is the reason that my company is successful, if you can read it. It says, Jesus is Sure Life. And right there is the website, sure-life.com. That's awesome. I'm, I hope I'm an American. Everything's made in the United States of America. I believe in the Bible. I believe every word in the Bible. And that's the reason I'm able to hold this between my two hands, looking at you through a, a, a video, like, you know, a, a, a social media a thing like this. And that's the only reason that I exist. And that's the only reason this is successful. Is well, that's Jesus fantastic. I think, I think we need more folks like you around, Tony. That's that absolutely awesome the way you have your, you bring your faith into what you do. It just doesn't get better than that. The way I live, man. That's I just, love it. It's one of the rules that I live by. Is I don't lie because when you lie, you got you got to remember that. You know what? And I hate to say it, I was like I'm like the big Lebowski in a lot of ways. Everybody calls me the dude, and I <laughs> I like my I might I like my right Russian. Because you're a Christian doesn't mean you can't have fun. Absolutely not. Truth, okay, but this is it. I don't lie because when you lie, you got to remember that, and that's right. too much freaking work for a guy like me. You tell the truth. You don't have to remember it because the truth is the truth. Yeah. So, well, we're going to wrap this up. I think that was a, a great thing. And I hope you guys all, you know, log on to Tony's website. That's www.sure-life.com. I'll put a link down here below. But, uh, Tony, why don't you hang on? We're going to continue with the next segment of the show. But I want to talk to you a little bit after. Uh, and we got a nice little treat for you because on our tr uh, trivia giveaway this week, Tony's got a nice little package of stuff he's going to give away to one lucky winner. So next time you guys fish a tournament, you can use some of these great products as well. Okay. One Tony, more thing, thank you. right? Yeah, one go ahead. Real quick. Most people don't know this, but I own a second company also. It's called Legend Laboratories. And that's the one where I make all the products for the night crawlers. Uh, I'm the one that makes the, the food that turns the night crawlers chartreuse. It's called Warm Glow. Did you know that? 
I, I know the product because uh, one of my favorite things for any lure is got to be chartreuse. So I'm short, the one that makes the product. Chartreuse live bait turns, is right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> that turns the earth in chartreuse that glow like kryptonite. Yeah. And, and, that, and I've had that on the market now for 20 years. And That's I've awesome. got two patents on it. It's called Warm Glow. Uh, we got to really check that product. out, too. Okay, Tony. I'll wait out. Nope, you're good. Thank you very much. We're going to continue on. I mean, what a great guy here, you know, who, who comes up with all this stuff and, you know, look at the benefit you're out there fishing those tournaments. Like I said, you show up with a dead fish and you're just going to get penalized. So having that, having those fish healthy, do your tournament, get them weighed in, get them weighed in healthy and release safe. That's the way to go. I really love it. Really thank Tony for a great, uh, a great little show and love talking to him. We could probably talk for hours and I would still be in, you know, interested in that. Uh, what we're going to do now, we got to kick off things off. Um, I do want to say, here's a great picture I wanted to show you guys earlier. Here's uh, Tony with um, with a race guy he was talking about. Also, Roland Martin. If you guys remember, I had a chance to interview Roland Martin earlier this year. And what a great guy. I mean, he's just a, a true gentleman to, to interview. And uh, I'm glad to see Tony with a uh, pro staff like Ray Scott and, uh, and uh, these guys here. It's really, really good. Well, we're going to kick things off now with our, our trophy board. Let's see what we got for this week. Uh, we got one from Alaska. Aaron from Alaska Fish Charters got a 50-pound king salmon coming up river. Yeah, they're ready to spawn up there, and they're nice and red and got that jaw going. What a beautiful fish there, Aaron. Good work. Justin Lerner over there in New Jersey. You know, Justin's always wrestling some kind of fish, but I think this lake trout got the better of him in this shot here. So, yeah, it was kind of giving him a hard time, but that's still a really beautiful lake trout. Jen Wong, yeah, he was out this morning doing a little fluking. He sent me this picture right before the show. So, uh, yeah, it looks like you finally got on, Jen. Great work there. I don't know if you got in the tournament or not or how you plays, but good luck. Good friend Travis Roberts was out uh, getting some, some sheep's head, it looks like, and maybe even a couple fluke, too. Uh, great work there, Travis. Looks like you got some uh, something for the dinner plate. And Eric Goodstall, believe it or not, with the, even with all this uh, rain and, and high water, he was able to get out on some brown trout. He says some of those creeks are, are running really cool now, and those browns are really active. And here's good friend Clifford Weidman. He's out with a, a beautiful, beautiful bass. He was out fishing a prototype uh, Stanley jig. So I, I think we got a corner uh, Clifford here into getting one of those prototypes because that is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful bass. So that's our trophy board this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget, send us those pictures in. Send them to Pocono George at Outlook.com, and we'll get you guys into the trophy board as well. Well, that's going to bring up our trivia giveaway. And like I said, we are going to be giving away that uh, really nice pack of the uh, Shore Life uh, uh, additives for your live well. So next tournament, you guys can get in and make sure that those uh, fish stay nice and fresh as well. So since we've been talking about bass, I want to know how many pounds is the world record largemouth bass? So is it 19.2, 22.4, or 26.8 pounds? What is the world record weight for a largemouth bass? Now, we're going to give this away to the first person that can give me the correct answer. Who's online today? It's going to give us the answer. Nineteen point two, twenty-two point four, or twenty-six point eight. What is the record? Uh, Jen Wong says twenty-six point eight. Nope. Sorry, Jen. Come on, we got two chances left, guys. Give me a good answer. Remember, you're winning for a, uh, a pack of uh, Tony's Sure Life products. It'll help you out in your next tournament. We're not getting an answer. Come on, guys. All right. We're going to hold it off till next week, then, if you don't, uh, we don't get an answer. Okay. But the answer was 22.4 pounds in 1932 by George Perry in Montgomery Lake, Georgia. That was the uh, the record uh, largemouth bass. So anyway, we'll pick it up next uh, next week, and we'll see if we can get some of Tony's stuff to give away then. But right now, that's kind of going to wrap up our show here. 
I hope you guys had a good time. I really enjoyed talking to Tony. What a passionate guy about his products. And he's even more passionate about saving all those fish and helping folks out. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Got to thank a few folks. Again, Tim Keebler. Uh, get, be sure you get that trip booked. Like I said, things are going to start picking up. 215-262-4811. Give Tim a call and book that trip now. Also, special thanks again to Tony Gurgley at shorelife.com. There's the address you can log on to his website. Also, our good friends at Stanley Jiggs want to thank them. Tony Maggia Products and the Fisherman Magazine. Thank you guys all very much. And again, you can always shoot me an email at PoconoGeorge at Outlook.com. And we've also launched a brand new website. Please log on to www.outlook.com. PoconoOutdoorsGuy.com. Check it out. You can upload your photos. You can. Uh, we have a blog going on. Check it out, and we'll talk to you soon. That's kind of going to wrap things up for this week. I hope you had a great time. I want to thank everybody again. Tony Gurgley did a great job. I can't wait to talk to him again. There's lots more going on, and we'll see you guys next week. Let's go get on them, okay? See ya. You there, Tony? Yeah, I lost you.